Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Alpaca Arc Passport Wallet, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. All right, so let's do a quick rundown. On the outside here, we have Alpaca's signature X Pack fabric which I really dig on bags. But when it comes to a passport wallet, I don't like the fabric as much for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one, it feels like a little bit loose because of the liner in here. It's separate from the outside. The air tag just fell out. Another thing that I like is zippers on these things, but that's not the case here. Um, and then it's like the fabric itself feels loose, but then it can get a little bit tight in terms of these pockets because there's very little stretch compared to something like, you know, mesh or like a liner material um, that's, you know, a little bit different. So it does hold everything secure and snug if everything's filled out like I have it here. Otherwise, um, it's just a little bit too tight, which I don't love. Um, but yeah, on the outside, very, very minimal. We can see there's some, like the air tag in here, I think is making this get dented a little bit, which I also don't really love the look of. I'm sure Alpaca has a lot of X-Pack laying around from all of their bags. I'm not sure if this is made with the remnants of X-Pack or their own. Um, regardless, there's a very nice high-vis ripstop in the middle here, which you're gonna see a lot of orange with Alpaca products too. So this goes aesthetically well uh, with the rest of their line and the rest of their products. For a Passport Wallet, I like materials to typically be different. I'll describe a little bit later on in the video um, why. Very simple layout. On this side here, we actually have a place for boarding passes. One, two, three slots for cards. And then I've actually got my passport back here, but I have the um, like thicker passport that you can get, like the extended version with the US because I travel so much and I can barely get it out of here. So I wanted to show you this because typically I will throw it on this side while I'm using it. And it fits better, even though this is the place for boarding passes. Three card slots here, I've got two in the top. Uh, two here and then two on the bottom. So six cards in total fitting in there nice and snug. Got some papers back here, like some uh, vaccination immunization papers that I always travel with. And then I've got an air tag in here that's made a surprise appearance now two times so far in this video. So uh, I typically like passport wallets that have zippers, but not the case here. So we see that air tag slipping out a little bit. As for the size, I wanna compare it to a passport. So I typically like when something fits a passport very snugly, but you can see here that you have a, quite a bit of more height and quite a bit more width. Let's see if I can line that up there just to give you a, an accurate depiction, quite a bit more width. So I tend to like things to be a little bit more snug. Also, it's relatively thick. I'm just gonna pull that air tag out of there so that's not obscuring it. I don't think most people are gonna put an air tag in there but I always do, otherwise I leave my passport in a bag after I've been testing it. Um, so the thickness there you can see as well, the difference between the two. Um, so quite a bit thicker, quite a bit taller, quite a bit wider. Um, I feel like it's a little bit large. All right, I wanna compare this to a couple of other favorites that we've reviewed in the past. This is a great budget pick and honestly, like one of the best passport wallets out there. This one's from Zero Grid. You can see even the size is smaller than the Alpaca and it has a zipper as well, which I like. So if you have that air tag in there that keeps falling out, that's gonna stay right in there. I love the layout here as well. Um, Fjall Raven is another very popular one that we see. A lot of people tend to like this one and it's widely available. So this has a bit of like a leathery, like canvas interior. It's nice, it's flexible, it feels nice in the hand. Whereas this is X-Pack, which is a little bit more crunchy uh, definitely a little bit sturdier, but for a passport wallet, it seems like it might be overkill. And then one of my personal other favorites is the Bellroy Travel Wallet, sized almost perfectly to the passport. Plus you have very smart organization and layout over here and a little hidden area for additional currency, or that's where I stick the air tag so it stays back in here secure in the back. So plenty of other options out there. If you're an Alpaca fan and you already have a lot of their gear, this is gonna go really nicely with it. However, for me, I just think it's a little bit too big and bulky and the pockets aren't super stretchy. And I typically love Alpaca's gear. I think they're doing a lot of great stuff, but I'd be curious to see um, how the Passport wallets continue to evolve as they keep working on them. So there you have it, the Alpaca Arc Passport Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.